is a Honey TV original production. Well, what happened with Sal at the end of the show was a pretty unique thing. Uh, he got laughs. That's all. So I have this dance called the Baba Booey dance, right? And people seem to like it a lot. So I said, hey, why don't I bring out the mask? It'll be funny to do in Lakeland. Originally, I was going to do it at the end of my set. But Artie said backstage, he goes, you know what? He goes, why don't we close with it? It'll be really good. He goes, people love it. We get towards the end of the show. Artie brings up Sal. We discussed this. We had planned it. Everything was set. Sal, are you okay? That wasn't in the act, man! Sal, a stockbroker just died for your entertainment, boy! Sal, are you okay? All of a sudden, I didn't know I fell. You know, I didn't know, I didn't feel the fall. It was just like, boom, I was just on the ground. It was almost like a wall fell over me. And I just remember doing the dance and within seconds, this huge amount of pain just shot through my head. Not my arm or my, my, my ribs, just through my head like I got hit in the head with a fucking Cadillac. And I'm on the ground, I don't know what happened. I'm like, what the fuck? And, and at that moment, I realized I fell off the stage. Honestly, man, are you all right? He's got that hard Sicilian head, you know? Wah! I fell off the stage! Wah! Wah! I'm a quadriplegic! Wah! At that moment, I realized I was fucked up. And I'm like, oh my god, what just happened, you know? And the, there was an orthopedist right in the front row, Dr. Shankman. And this guy just literally jumped over, went past the security, said he was a doctor. And the great Dr. Neil Berliner was there too, you know? He, he came to my rescue. <laughs> He's all right. Hey, look, you got to give it up for Sal. That was the funniest ending ever. <laughs> I'd have paid a hundred bucks to watch that. The show is basically over when Sal fell off the stage. You can't follow a homo breaking his wrist. That's a rule of comedy. Two things you can't follow in comedy. A midget blowing himself, a gay black guy throwing up, and Sal Governale breaking his wrist. You know what, Gary feels guilty because Gary chased him and Gary, this is clearly your fault, man. I did not push Sal off the stage. I think anybody who watches the tape knows that. I did get close to him. Sal and I had worked out this bit in advance. What he wanted to do originally was at the end of my set, I was gonna go, Baba Booey everybody, and then they were gonna play Booey Gold Digger. Sal was gonna come out dancing behind me. I was gonna see him and wrestle him to the ground. But Artie's like, no, 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 I don't want none of that shit. Dude, let's do that at the end of the show. So when it got to be the end of the show, I almost forgot that we were supposed to do it. And then I heard the music and I saw Sal up on stage doing the wacky dancing. And I was like, oh yeah, I'm supposed to go wrestle him to the ground and fuck with him. And I start to walk out and I get right by. I was just about to grab him when he went off the stage. You know who's happy as hell, Richard? No more phony phone calls from Sal, just him now. He broke his arm? He broke his wrist? He broke his wrist! Wow! I broke my wrist! Wow! You know what? Dane Cook fans would be sympathetic, you motherfucker! What? 
We haven't stopped. We haven't stopped filming, Sal. No, the greatest ending, Sal, would you to be get up here like Terry Malloy and on the waterfront. I want Sal to come up to end the show and say goodbye. All right, Sal, are you going to be a pussy or are you going to come up and say goodbye? No, he can. Is he really that bad? Sal, you okay, buddy? Get up here and say goodnight to Okay, he's going to come up with a broken wrist and say goodnight. Guys, seriously, my name's Artie Lang. We love you, motherfuckers. Get home safe. Here's Sal. Fire! Sal has a compound fracture. <laughs> hey, seriously, Florida, I love you motherfuckers. Get home safe. I got to cover Sal now that he's hurt, and I got to cover everything. So we start, um, somebody said there was a, an office right outside the parking lot. So we start walking in one direction. Hey, Rick, he right. broke his I, don't, I don't care. I don't, don't want any, I'm not a surgeon. I don't want anybody to go. Is there a hospital? We have an yeah. orthopedic yeah. surgeon. Well, don't right. take my car, because I'm not going to be able to get back to the hotel. <laughs> Okay. I love this guy. He just fucking made the show. We were bombing until he fell off the fucking roof. Go to one of the security guys. I think Sal, Sal should put this in his hat. All right, I got to go to the hospital. Yeah, go luck. Get, right, some, get some Viking in. Yeah, I will. Get some Viking I'm on Route 350. So now we backtrack to the other side of the parking lot, all the way to one of the guy's cars, and we get in the car, and we waited for the... There was an actual doctor that was at the performance that worked at the hospital, that which was a couple miles away from the... The venue. Where's the doctor? Where's the doctor? Stop moving. Relax. Sal, okay, I'm not me. moving. And we got an orthopod for you. Don't worry. I need to bring this window down. Thank you. There is a right. Look at my you. eye. Bye. Oh yeah, you got a shiny. I need to numb it up if he's gonna replace it. Or you gotta put a cast on or something. You put a cast on it. Thanks, Tim. You didn't have to come, man. I want you to have a good time. You didn't have to come, Tim. Just relax. Just... What do you get for taking my fucking nerves? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Who gives a shit about Sal? Let's hear that fucking laugh again. <laughs> Holy shit, that's funny. So here's what happened to me. I ended up shattering my radius bone in four spots. And I also chipped my ulna bone. I fractured a rib, I bruised three others, and I ended up heavily bruising my uh, my pelvis. Also now, for some reason, I always wake up every morning like with these knots in my back and I have some neck pain and stuff. You know, like when uh, an old person falls down, they usually die a month later. I can definitely see that happening. Like if I was 60 or whatever, I don't think I'd be here right now. I mean, because it was it, it was just really rough. Every day's been tough. What's going on, Sal? Did you tell your family about this? You told yeah. your family? You told so your I wife? I call my wife up and I tell her everything happens. And the first thing that comes comes out of her mouth is, "Were you drinking?" What? But was I drinking? I, I, I fell off a stage with a fucking mask on in front of 4,000 people. Who, yeah, I had a couple of beers. And then I told her that I threw up last night from the, uh, the medication. I had two shots of Dilaudid right here in my arm. They injected me with Dilaudid. So when I got back to the hotel, imagine this last night, 4 o'clock in the morning, and you're throwing your brains up from the hotel bed. So she goes, you sure it wasn't a stomach bug? Because we got kids here. Maybe you want to stay an extra day. Uh, you know what? Just goodbye. Very good. Sal's wife's reaction to his fall hammers home that she doesn't like Sal, which puts her in a group that includes everyone else in the world. You know, I came home. I've been home for two weeks now, close to three weeks. And I said to my wife, not even a hand job? And she's like, well, look at you. So what about me? You know? That's her excuse. Look at me. Yeah, look at me. Look at me. Take sympathy on me. I'm in a fucking sling right now. I can't even walk. I got broken ribs. How about taking your hand out for five fucking minutes, taking it off the $1,400 pocketbook I bought you, and jerking me for five minutes?